Hi, welcome to OttawaChurchOfChrist.com, our study of patterns found in God's Word. Today, I want to talk about the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And before we get into it, I want to introduce you to the, the, the matrix, or should I say the, the, the box of nine, which I'm, you'll find in my videos I'm using quite consistently. I think you'll remember if you were in school, and maybe a lot of you younger people won't remember because everybody's been using calculators for so long, but being the old guy that I am, when I was in school, we had multiplication tables. And what they did was they just put these numbers on the exterior of the multiplication table, and then if, I'm, if I want to know what 2 times 2 is, well, it's 4. 2 times 4, it's 8. 2 times 6 is 12. 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 6 is 24. And that's how the multiplication table simply works. What we do is we put this on a chart, but we're going to do it a little bit differently. What we're going to do along the top row, as you see right here, is God's faith. God's faith is His Word. God's hope is the blessings. Hope is the action. God's love is His guidance, the guidance that we have by the Holy Spirit to understand His Word. Man's faith is... Another word for faith is trust. Man's hope is his obedience, because if he's got hope to make it to eternal life, he's going to obey the word of God. And man's love is sharing. Love is to communicate, to share with other people. And now we're going to put the Holy Spirit on this in the pattern in which it comes from Galatians chapter 5. So the first one that we're going to see right here is the word love. What you see on the chart is, if I learn to trust God's word, put my full trust in God's word, love is, is the thing that is generated from that action made by me, by man. If I learn to obey God's word, put it into practice, I'm going to find joy growing in my life. And then if I learn to share God's word with other people, peace is the thing that I'm going to find happening. Love, joy, and peace. And it's interesting how this comes in, in the order in which it does. I've got to fall in love with the Word of God. I've got to accept it as the inspired Word. And I've got to totally trust in it. And my love for God and my love with God is going to grow. If I'm obeying His Word, I'm only going to get excited. And I'm going to have joy. If you don't have joy in your life and you're a Christian, obviously you need to start looking at, am I really truly obeying God's Word? Or am I just going through the motions? And then, are you sharing God's Word? Are you sharing with other people? And the sharing right here, I believe, is with, with brothers and sisters. Because the more we share, the more we talk about the Word of God, the stronger we're going to become, the better fellowship we're going to generate. And when you go to sleep at night, you're going to have that peace, peace that the world can't take away from you because you know you've done what you should do, and that is dig deeper into the Word of God by sharing it, communicating it to other people. The next one is patience. When I'm trusting God's blessings... I'm going to generate the patience that I need to have. God's blessings is he answers our prayers. We know that he listens to us. And if I know that God listens to me, though when I do pray to him, it's, he may answer my prayer this year, next year, or whenever. But my confidence, my trust is that he does come through with answering prayer. So when I understand that, I'm going to have the patience to learn to wait. When I obey God's blessings, kindness comes. When God blesses me with a house, with a car, with, with food, with, with money, I under, need to understand it as what God has given to me, and I need to learn to share his blessings with other people. And when I obey his word and I start to share that, people are going to see the kindness they need to see in me, the Christian. And then when I share the blessings, goodness is what is generated. Goodness is generated when you're sharing the word of God. To me right here, it's all about my conversion. The, if there's nothing else that you think you can share with anybody, you can share your Christian conversion. How did you become a Christian? Why did you start studying the Bible? Why did you make the commitment? What were you like before you became a Christian? What do you like now? People want to hear how true and how real it is. Because God's blessed you with forgiveness of sins. God's blessed you with the family of God. God's blessed you with uh, an eternal hope. God's blessed you with so many things. That's what you want to share with other people. And when you do that, that's called goodness. And people will be listening to you. Then the third, or the next one that we're going to look at right here is God's guidance. When I learn to trust God's guidance, faithfulness comes in. When I learn to read the Bible, and not just for the physical, 
But when I get into the spiritual understanding and then I'm going to put it into practice, the eternal, I'm going to become faithful. When I start to study the scriptures to hear what God truly has to say. It's interesting when you look at the book of Revelation, chapter 2 and 3. Every time he wrote a letter to the seven churches, he always ends, to him who has an ear to hear, let him hear. Are your ears opened up? Do you believe you have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit? Do you believe that God can help you to see deeper into the text than you've ever seen before? When you believe that you're being led by the Spirit, which is what Paul talks about in Romans chapter 8, when you're being led by the Spirit, you're going to be faithful in the things in which you're doing. And God's going to be able to work with you. Yes, I need to test the spirits. Yes, I need to bounce ideas off my, my brothers and my sisters to make sure I'm not going off on a tangent. But when we start sharing and getting together and understanding that, it gets exciting to know that God speaks to us through his word. And then gentleness. Gentleness is power under control. It's like a war horse. It'll take you into battle. It'll disregard the pain and suffering that it's gonna ha that's going to happen to it because it still needs to do what it needs to do by obeying the, the person who's riding it. I need to obey God's guidance. When God tells me to, to reach out and to touch other people, when God tells me to love my enemies, I know the kind of reaction, or I believe I know the kind of reaction people are going to have towards me. But I'm still going to do it. Why? Because it's what the scriptures are telling me that I need to do. And when I'm doing that, loving my enemies, it doesn't matter what they do to me. It doesn't matter what they say to me. And it's that response which people see as gentleness. Because I'm going to still hang in there. You're, when you're in the heat of a battle, when you're dealing with people that don't like you, that's when true Christianity comes out. When you're with your friends, there's, it's, it's easy to love your, your friends. That's what Jesus talks about when they love their, their, the Gentiles love each other. There's, there's nothing gained here. But it's when you're dealing with people that are really having a bad day, you're dealing with people that you know you can help. There's where the gentleness shines. And they may not see it, but the people that see you working with them, they will recognize that, and they'll want to have some of that. And then the last one, this is the hardest thing to do. It's sharing God's guidance, because God has told us to what? To be forgiving. You've got to learn to forgive others. That's called self-control. That's the biggest one. You can't seek revenge. You've got to learn to pour out God's love on the people around you. Here's the nine fruit of the Holy Spirit. And as long as I've been in church, I haven't seen that much focus on it. But as a Christian, we really need to focus on how to develop all nine fruits in our system. It comes from the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit helps us to unlock it. And I find through this simple little chart right here, how do I develop these? Well, love's coming when I'm trusting in the Word. When I'm obeying the Word, here comes joy, sharing its peace. Trusting His blessings, patience, obeying kindness, sharing goodness, trusting his guidance, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Ask your average Christian, they can't even tell you the nine fruits of the Holy Spirit. What we're trying to do is teach you not only to understand, memorize all nine, but here's how you're going to develop your own to be the person of God that you need to be. I want to be empowered with the ability to become the Christian that I need to be. And I think this is one of the key key tools that you're ever going to find. We're always going to be using this in my videos with this box of nine, which I call the matrix, and we're trying to pull out of it the, value, the values that God has shared with us, the blessings that he shared with us. And that's the lesson I wanted to share with you this morning. Thank you for watching.